afternoon, John. It's uh, Silent Coast Guard. Can you scramble, please? To... There are over 11,000 civilian Coast Guard rescues around the United Kingdom coast every year. And more than 2,000 of these operations demand the support of professional, experienced, fast and effective helicopter search and rescue teams. Working closely with both the military and civilian bases, SAR operations are coordinated by the MCA, the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency. It is Bristow helicopters that operate the four strategic Coast Guard SAR bases at Sumbara and Stornoway in the north of Scotland and at Leon Solent and Portland on the English south coast. Bristow Helicopters was one of the very first civilian helicopter companies and has developed an incomparable network of services across the world, gaining an international reputation for providing the highest quality of service. Since the company was established in 1953, it has continually driven forward the boundaries of both operational and technical excellence. Bristow is committed to ensuring that safety remains its highest priority in all aspects of its operations and to maintaining its position at the forefront of the helicopter industry. The company's expertise and experience is recognized by military and civilian agencies internationally. Bristol carries out basic and advanced helicopter flying training for the UK's armed services, along with specialist SAR training for the military at RAF Valley in Wales. Here to do a first hover check. Reasonable place to do the, hover, the first hover check would be with a boat somewhere between the one and two o'clock. So. Bristol Helicopters has been at the forefront of SAR operations and technology for nearly 20 years. Bristol has operated a range of helicopter types in specific and demanding SAR roles. The Bell 212 from offshore bases, the AS332 in the mountains and fjords of Norway, and the S61N for shore-based, coastal and long-range maritime rescue. It is the S61N that has been selected year after year by the MCA for their task of ensuring the safety of British waters. With the SAR crews aiming to be airborne within just a few minutes, day and night. The S61N travels at a speed of 120 knots and has an action radius of 200 nautical miles with full civil safety reserves. In the hands of its experienced crews with their extensive knowledge of the local area in which they operate, the S61N has thoroughly proved itself for operations in the most testing of flying conditions. The twin-engined S61N's combined performance, capability, roll effectiveness and cost efficiency maintains its position as the optimum shore-based Coast Guard SAR helicopter.
The S61, the Sikorsky S61, has been in civil search and rescue since 1983, and its reputation, I think, goes before it. All the professionals that we work with, the RNLI, the Coast Guard, etc., uh, feel very comfortable when, when an S61 turns up. It's a very stable platform to work with. I've been flying the S61 in search and rescue for 15 years, and total in my, of my 30 years of flying, it's it's my favorite aircraft. Its auto hover system is supreme and I feel very comfortable low level 40 feet in the hover in in fog letting the aircraft do its own thing. I think its size and its stability in the hover are the key things followed up by the technology that we have in the aircraft which has been improved over and over uh, with each contract since we started. Onboard communications are enhanced by a VHF, AM and FM, UHF and MFHF radio suite, which includes dedicated SAR and homing frequencies. And the crews have specialist weather and search radar. There is additional search lighting strategically placed around the fuselage and increased visibility offered by the cabin's bubble windows. The integral auto hover system became an industry standard since it was first introduced by Bristow in the mid-1980s. And ongoing developments have made it an invaluable SAR tool. At night or in poor visibility, the state-of-the-art forward-looking infrared or FLIR camera can pinpoint body heat. It is mounted in a gyro-stabilized turret which also contains the high-quality television camera. The dual hoist system has been designed and developed by Bristow to lift loads of up to 600 pounds over 300 feet at variable speed. This innovation provides complete flexibility, with either hoist available at the throw of a switch, providing a backup should one line become snagged and jettisoned or otherwise inoperable. The experienced and dedicated SAR crews take part in continuous training, up to 15 hours training per crew per month at sea and around the coast, and in the mountains. And assessment programs that ensure that the highest standards of effectiveness and safety are maintained. And all are proficient in advanced first aid techniques to maximize the potential for the preservation of life until expert medical assistance is available. Onboard kit includes sophisticated first aid and resuscitation equipment, stretchers and inflatable splints, airway management equipment, hypothermia blankets and life-saving drugs. Benefiting from all that experience, there are very many people with good reason to be grateful for the professionalism of the helicopter SAR service. There is no room in SAR operations for anything less than 100% commitment. And that is why Bristow helicopters remain the 
search and rescue specialist